What's up, everybody? It's Rago. Other half, two guys, one gamepad. Back up with another episode of March Madness. After this craziness of the first 64, we're moving to the round 32. Um, it is currently 11:38 Central on the 22nd. We still have two games going on between Utah State, TCU, St. Mary's, and Grand Canyon. Um, Looks like the Utah State, TCU, Utah State may pull it out. There's two and a half minutes left, 86-70, they lead by 16. St. Mary's, Grand Canyon, quite a bit of time left in that one. We're going to go ahead and do the episode and just kind of hope that we move on with our prediction because I'm not going to lie, my bracket has a lot of red in it. Um, man, there was some great games, um, a lot of games that... I didn't expect they were going to go the way they went, but again, I'm not the expert at all on this. Like I said in the last episode, I watch it surely just because I enjoy this time. I don't watch a lot of college basketball. So without further ado, we will get into the East. We'll start with the East first and get through it again. Uh, I'll go through the picks we have and go through uh, how, how it ended up and then go into the round of 32. Uh, in the East, we had Yukon Stetson. Yukon ended up pulling that one out, 91-52. Uh, followed by Florida Atlantic against Northwestern. Northwestern pulled that one out, so we picked those two right. Yukon Northwestern meet in the 32. Uh, then we have San Diego State. It's UAB. San Diego State pulled that one out. We picked UAB, got that one wrong. Then Auburn and Yale. Yale beats Auburn in an upset it was a hell of a game. Uh, but Yale pulled off that one, totally destroying that that bracket for us there in the next round. Um, then the next one that really made me mad, uh, BYU against, I can't even pronounce their name, but the Dukes. Um, the Dukes pulled it out over BYU. Another great game. Hard, hard to watch. Uh, definitely didn't like seeing BYU go down. But, uh, yeah, BYU drops. And the Dukes move on to the next round. Uh, next up is Illinois and Moorhead State. Illinois pulled that one out, 85-69. We picked Illinois to go on to that one. So, into the next one, Washington State against Drake. We took the fan favorite of being in Iowa. Drake didn't pull it out. They fell to Washington State by 5, 66-61. Washington State moves on to the next round. Iowa State, South Coast State, we got that one right. Iowa State, 82 South Coast State 65. So with that one, the 32 for the East looks UConn against Northwestern. We did pick both of those. And then South Coast State against Yale. We didn't pick either one of those, so that side's busted still. And then the Dukes against Illinois. Picked Illinois in that one. Um, out of that, so uh, last thing out of the East, we have Washington State against Iowa State. Only one we picked in that was Iowa State. So, so far, our East bracket is still somewhat intact. Um, hopefully, UConn can pull it out. Uh, Illinois and Iowa State, those are only three we have left in the East bracket. Again, obviously, we have Iowa State going all the way to the final the final championships. Um, moving over to the South, Houston Longwood. Houston pulled out the win, 86-46, in a dominant, dominant fashion. Um, boring game. Very boring game, but... Uh, didn't didn't uh, I haven't watched Houston at all, and they played a hell of a game. Uh, so it's Houston was on the next one, uh, followed by Nebraska against Texas A and M. A and M pulled off that 98-83. We picked both Texas A and M, Houston to move on to the next round. Uh, let's see next up Wisconsin. James Madison. James Madison pulled out the victory 72-61 over Wisconsin. A number twelve over number five. Like I said, man, these upsets happen a lot. In the first 64, and it can get it can get crazy. But uh, next up, Duke and Vermont. Duke pulled out a dominant win, but not a very high-scoring game. 64-47. Uh, Duke pulls out the win in that one. Uh, Texas Tech, NC State. NC State pulls it off, 80-67. We didn't pick NC State to win that. We picked Texas Tech. Uh, followed by Kentucky and Oakland. Maybe one of the biggest upsets, in my opinion, in this, because I did not see 
uh, this happened in Kentucky, going on the first round uh, against Oakland. It teams so 80-76, Oakland pulls that one off. Oh, excuse me, I'm not bored. It's just been a long day, uh, working, playing, playing around with kids, running around doing everything. So excuse me for the for the yawn. Ah, uh, uh, where are we at? It's Kentucky, Oakland. Okay, Oakland pulled that one off. Florida, Colorado. Colorado pulls it off 102 to 100 over Florida in overtime, if I remember right. It was an overtime game. Um, no, that was not an overtime game. The uh, Colorado, Florida. Colorado pulled it out 102 to, one, to 100. We picked Florida in that one. Sucks because we have Florida going pretty far up into the 16. Um, Marquette, Western Kentucky. Marquette pulls it off 87 69. Did pick Marquette for that one. So in the South. They had 32 look like Houston and Texas A&M. Number one, Houston against number nine, Texas A&M. We did pick both those teams. So then followed by James Madison, number 12, James Madison against number four, Duke. We did pick Duke in that one, so we are somewhat intact there as well. Uh, followed by NC State against Oakland, number 11 against number 14. We didn't pick either one of those, so that doesn't matter to us. Um, number 10, Colorado against number two, Marquette. We did pick pick Marquette, but actually we had them losing to Florida, so that side of the bracket is busted uh, pretty much. Only only saving grace we have in this one is Duke to move on to get any type of points through this entire thing. So, um, I just think we have Houston and Texas A&M, so hopefully, you know, Texas A&M pulls that one out, but we'll see uh, the way that Houston played against Longwood, but again, that's Longwood. A&M looked pretty dominant against Nebraska. Dropping down to the West, uh, like I said, again, the St. Mary's Grand Canyon game is still going on, so we'll kind of wait on that one, maybe, if we can see if it does end here as we're recording. Uh, we'll, we'll let it see. Uh, number one, North Carolina against Wagner. I mean, dominant, dominant game by North Carolina. They 90-62. to 62. North, Carolina, North Carolina moves on. Mississippi State against Michigan State. I remember I watched this game. It was pretty... Uh, it's pretty fun to watch. I like watching Michigan State play. Uh, Michigan State pulls it off 69-51 to go on to play against North Carolina. Uh, we'll wait on the St. Mary's and Grand Canyon. As of right now, Grand Canyon is up 52-40 to with 10.30 left. Uh, we did pick St. Mary's, and St. Mary's is down 12. So that's not helping at all. Uh, next up, Alabama and Charleston. I talked a lot of shit on Alabama not knowing they had a basketball team. They came out and played one one hundred nine to ninety six against Charleston. Moving on to the next round, we picked Charleston in that one, so that that didn't help. Uh, Clemson, New Mexico. Clemson pulls it off seventy seven fifty six to move on to the next round. We did pick Clemson, and then followed by Baylor against Colgate. Baylor ninety two, Colgate sixty seven. We also picked Baylor to go on to the next round. Um, followed by Dayton and Nevada, sixty three to sixty. Dayton pulls it. Pulls it off, pulls off the win. We did pick Nevada to uh, to win that one. Didn't get that one right. And then lastly, uh, Arizona against Long Beach State. Arizona pulled it off, 85-65. So that rounds out those. And then putting North Carolina, number one North Carolina against number nine Michigan State. Uh, depending on how this goes, Alabama for sure. And then St. Mary's against Grand Canyon. The winner of that one will play Alabama. Um, hopefully St. Mary's can pull it out. They're not looking good. They're down 10 right now. Uh, followed by Clemson, number six, and number three, Baylor. We did pick both of those teams, too, so we have Baylor going on after that one. Uh, Dayton against Arizona. We also picked Arizona. So this side of the bracket uh, in the West, we're looking somewhat decent. We still have dominant teams moving on in this one, or picks, I should say, not dominant teams. Uh, but moving over to the Midwest, Start off with Purdue, and luckily that Utah State TCU game just ended as well. Uh, number one, Purdue against Grambling State. Purdue pulls it off in another dominant fashion, 28-point 20, win, 78-50 uh, over Grambling. Moving on to the next round. Utah State just pulled out the win against TCU, 88-72. Again, we picked TCU to win that one. Utah State pulled it off, though. Uh, followed by Gonzaga and McNeese. Gonzaga played a solid game, 86-65 just like I thought they would. Um, the way they played, though, I I think we may have messed up our bracket in the next round against Kansas. We picked Kansas to win over Stanford. Sanford, 
and they did pull it off 93-89 going on to play Gonzaga. Um, I did not get to see the Kansas game. I missed it. I really wanted to watch it. I didn't have a chance to watch it, though. Um, next up, South Carolina Gamecocks against Oregon Ducks. Oregon pulls off the win, 87-73, and we didn't pick that one. Oregon won. We picked Gamecocks to win that one, uh, followed by Creighton and Akron. Again, we failed in this one. Creighton pulled it off, 77-60. to um, Creighton moves on to play Oregon. Then Texas versus Colorado State. Texas pulled off win in a another. It was a boring game, lackluster, 56-44, low, low scoring and by college standards, by a, a team that should play a lot better. Um, but we picked Colorado State. Texas ended up pulling it out. Uh, lastly, Tennessee against St. Peter's. Tennessee pulled it out, 83-49, dominant game there. Uh, Midwest is not looking too bad as far as our picks go. Um, obviously, we have. Purdue against Utah State. Purdue played a really good game, and we'll see how they do against Utah State. Uh, next, Gonzaga in Kansas. Man, like I said, I think we messed up our bracket, but we'll see the way that Gonzaga played. Uh, I need to see more, some more highlights on Kansas. Hopefully they looked really well, uh, but we'll see. Um, followed by Oregon and Creighton. You know, we didn't pick either one of these teams, so that's this whole, the whole bottom part of our Midwest bracket is busted. And then Texas, Tennessee on the last of the Midwest, and we didn't pick any one of those teams. So the only teams we have left in this in the Midwest is Kansas and Purdue to move on in this. And obviously we have Kansas moving on to win everything. But uh man, there's some good games. Everything looked good. Uh in that St. Mary's Grand Canyon still still uh not looking good. St. Mary's is down thirteen, so I think I have a feeling the Grand Canyon may pull this one out and move on and screw up our bracket there even more. Um, but it is what it is. That's the craziness of this of this March Madness. It's fun. It's been really entertaining. Uh, some, some upsets that I didn't see happening. I know there's some low-scoring games like I talked about, but, man, it's been, it's been fun watching it, and it's definitely going to be one that I will continue to keep an eye on. I'll try and keep up with the episodes, make sure that everything's coming out. Um... I do know that the UConn is uh, definitely trying to get a back-to-back win in this one after winning winning it last year and trying to do it. I don't know if it's possible. Definitely tough. I don't think it's ever happened for a back-to-back to happen, but Northwestern coming in against the UConn is going to be a tough game for them. Um, Duke looked good. Duke definitely has, has always looked very, very solid in their, uh, in their defense. Definitely, definitely look good there. Um, I know I talked a lot about Iowa State living down by the threes. I didn't see a ton of threes, but I did see them really pour it on at the end. Uh, and it could have been just because of the way that the score was, that they kind of did what they wanted. Um, but it was definitely a fun game to watch. Uh, man, there's some, so many games to talk about. Uh, trying to remember the highlights of a lot of them. I didn't get to watch North Carolina. I really wanted to just because of how dominant they are um but man there's there's going to be a lot a lot more great games to watch a lot more basketball to watch a lot more basketball to enjoy um but like i said i think we may have messed up our bracket within gonzaga kansas i think gonzaga might end up pulling that out um but like i said i gotta keep up with that and see some more highlights um man it's it's getting tough it's tough to pick these i have it's funny i have one going on with with the family right now and i'm i'm not winning i'm not winning at all i'm down by i think by like two or three points it's like i can have like 18 or 15 points i'm saying with 15 points so definitely not happy about family family beating me in my own brackets and my idea to do it but uh who knows we'll see and uh trying to just kind of keep going but st mary's is coming back at 47 57 right now with, uh, what is it, 7.15 left. Man, I don't know, it's going to be a tough one. That's 7.15, that'll be like another 20 minutes just to finish that damn game. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah, that'll pretty much do it. We still have, we are not, our bracket is not busted yet. We are still looking good. Still have about, uh, let's see, we got a dominant. We still have two, four, six, eight. 
So, I, yeah, so we're sitting with about 12 teams to still make it to the 16. So we're sitting, we're looking good. Not, we're not, not shit in the bed yet. Wait till next round. Next round, it's, uh, you may see a lot more red on my, on my bracket. But, man, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know how your brackets have done. If you're, if you went with mine, if you went completely against mine, which you probably should have, the way that it's looking. Uh, let me know in the comments. And if you want to be on one of the episodes that we're updating, let me know. I'm glad to have you on. We can do, do a dual, a dual cast. Talk about some stuff. And trust me, it doesn't have to be long. It's gonna be some short episodes, just updates, running the next ones. Um, yeah, make sure you check out the website, two guys one for all the merch. Get your uh, podcast wherever you get to, wherever you can get them. We're everywhere. And check us out Thursday nights. We're always streaming video games and everything else. Uh, it was a fun one last Thursday. We did a, uh, it was yesterday. We did a Z League tournament. It was a fun one. We played some probably the better better games we've ever played together. Um, ended up taking third in the tournament. Doing really well. Um, so you had some, some good gameplay. But yeah, check us out. Let us know. Again, you want to be on the podcast? Reach out. We're here. We're hanging out. Till the next one. Bye, bitch.